Hello everyone out there. Today what we're going to talk about is our multiplication facts and the idea of multiplication at the, from the very beginning. And so the first facts that you learn are like your two facts, your times two facts, and then fives and tens. But today we're going to talk just about your two facts. So let's get started. Um, while we go, at the end, it might actually be a good idea for you to make some flashcards. So if you have index cards, do that, just a few. Um, if not, what I did was I grabbed some like playing cards like this and uh, some post-it notes. And if there's ever a fact here that you kind of don't know yet and you need to practice, you can just put a post-it note on a playing card and then you'll practice a few of these at a time. Just until you know them in a snap. Okay, so the multiplication facts, we have all of them over here, uh, the two through nines. And then third grade, it's important for you to know really quickly, the twos, fives, tens, and then the threes and fours. Um, then when you get, when you know all those, you try your times six or six times seven times, eight times, and nine times. So hopefully in third grade, you can know all of these twos, fives, threes, and fours. Um, and if you want to get ahead, knowing your six, seven, eights, and nines would be awesome too. So let's look at some of these facts. I'm going to talk about how we can solve it, what it looks like, uh, how you can know the answer. And then at the end, we're going to just practice them like super fast, okay? So in a snap. So 2 times 5 is 2 groups of 5, which would be, with repeated addition, 5 plus 5. And we learned that even back like in kindergarten. Um, if you know 2 times 5 with the commutative property, you would also know 5 times 2 equals 10. You knew that one, right? Good. So that's one. I bet you know a lot of your multiplication facts. You probably just don't know them all yet. So let's find out which ones that you should make some flashcards for. 2 times 6 is like 6 plus 6, which would be 6 times 2. And what we can do for these is think of a close fact. So if you know 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 6 would just be 2 more, 12. Good, 2 times 6 is 12. Do you know what 2 times 4 is? Well, that would be 4 plus 4. And if you know 2 times 5 is 10, we could go back 2. So not 5 plus 5, but 4 plus 4 is 8. Good. Do you know 2 times 7? Well, that's the same as 7 plus 7. And if you know 2 times 7, you also know 7 times 2. So if you know 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 6 would be 12, so 2 times 7 would be 14. In order to know 2 times 7, I don't think you should skip count from 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I think it would be better to just start at a fact you know. Well, 2 times 5 is 10, 12, and then 14. 2 times 3 is the same as 3 plus 3, which is equal to 6. Do you know 2 times 9? That's like 9 plus 9. And if you don't know that, I bet you know 2 times 10. Because 10 plus 10 is 20. So we could go back a group of 2 to get, instead of 20, subtract 2 to get 18. You know 2 times 2? This is maybe the first one that you learned, uh, and you just confused it with addition because it's also 2 plus 2. Two groups of 2 is 2 plus 2, and that's 4. That's a fact I'm sure a lot of you already know. You even knew in first grade, but you just thought it was like addition. Do you know 2 times 8? That's like 8 plus 8, or 8 times 2. 
And I don't know exactly the close fact with the eights. You could start at the fives down here. So you know two times five is 10, 12, 14. What's gonna come after that? Or you could go down to the two times 10, which would be, oh, can you see my, yeah. You could go down to the two times 10, which would be 20 and then go back 18 back some more that would be 16 2 times 10 is like 10 plus 10 and that would be 20 so here we did all of these facts over here the two times and also it would also be your times two so if you know, can practice these one two three four five six seven eight and plus two times ten would be nine facts and going the other way would be like 17 facts that you already know so those are great ones to know these two but let's test if you really do know it fluently so if you if you know something fluently it should only take you less than three seconds so I'm an, I, I switch these around uh, and you're going to answer these as fast as you can. Um, and then if you don't get it by the time I tell you the answer, what do I want you to do? Make a flashcard of one that you don't know yet, because this should be as easy as one plus one, two. Como te llamas? Mr. D. Like you don't need to use brain power to know these facts because this should just be something really easy. So here we go. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you a fact and then you're gonna answer as fast as you can. And if I beat you, you're gonna have to make a flashcard to practice, deal? Okay, let's try it. Ready, here we go. 10, you see that? It was three seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna click it. Like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Here we go. 18. Did you get it in time? Don't let me beat you. 12. Did you get it in time? Don't let me beat you. 8. Good. Let's keep going. 14. 4. 20, good. Six, good. 16, good. Those are all the facts. So if you got all those, I'm gonna guess that maybe you didn't know two times eight um, or two times seven or two times six. Those might be like the three flashcards I want you to make to practice today, to practice tomorrow, and you go practice them with a brother, sister, your dog, whoever can hold the flashcards for you, and someone who knows the answers to help you get it along the way. So those are the twos. We're gonna focus on the twos, threes, fours, and fives by the end of third grade. So if you're in, in third grade right now, I hope you already know these. If you're in fourth grade, you absolutely should know these facts that I've colored over here, and we're going to work on the, the six, seven, eights, and nines. So if you liked that um, and you got all of those right, let's move on to another multiplication video like your fives. Or if you know those, try and watch one that you might not know yet. That was awesome. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I miss you guys so much. Uh, let's get really good at these multiplication facts. So we don't just know some of them, but we know all of our facts. See ya.